M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ARDV1 Scanner. Why do I like this scanner? Because it will scan DMR, D-Star, Fusion, HF, VHF, UHF, 6 meters, 23 cents, marine band, air band, and this is why we like this scanner. Someone's asked me a question, how do you link banks? And I'll read to you what the manual says. There are 10 search groups and the group number can be selected between 0 to 9. So to get this, we go F, then hits the scan button. And you can see here, bank link. If I turn this number, look, it goes from 0 to 9. We'll turn this dial, should I say. So we'll leave it on one a minute. Now you can link these banks together. So when it's scanning, it won't just scan, say, bank zero. It will scan the banks you've linked. Press the, turn the number to number one and then press the pass, see it says pass here. Now the pass links and unlinks. So we've got it on number one, let's just hit it. Put it oh yeah, you have to do the down arrow first. Okay, and then we'll hit the pass. Right now, let's see if that one's linked. And we'll go to one, and then we'll turn it again to two. And they're all, those three are linked. Now let's go forward. Let's go and link, say, bank 16. You can see there's 39 banks, and I'm pretty sure thir number 39 is VFOZ. But anyway, path. So we've just linked those, those banks together. Now if we, if we want to unlink, yeah, we just press it again. We go to the number, we turn the dial. If we want to unlink 16, press pass and unlinks, okay, and then we move away, and look, it's unlinked. Let's link it again, move away, and it's linked. So let's just um, make sure we press enter to complete it. So I think the idea behind it is when you go scan, I mean, it's quite a confusing scanner, and there's quite a lot of learning to do with all the scanners, I would say. I've just selected search, which is this button here, search. Let's go back to VFO. So that's VFO mode. In this mode, we can type frequencies. You have to put the dot in. Let's do that again, one, four, five. The dots here, enter. Squelch is here. Looks like we've got something selected, FM mode. T for Tetra, is it? <laughs> FM, squelch. Let's go back to scan. Make sure we enter the mode first. Go back to scan. Now we need to up the squelch, otherwise it will just sit there. You can change the settings on that. And it's just gonna start scanning. You need to make sure your squelch is low. And it's scanning just a few banks that we've got. November Whiskey Echo, back to Echo Alpha 7, Golf India. That's DMR coming through. HF. If I had my YSF hotspot on, we'd be getting that as well. So anyway, I hope it helps you with band linking. It's, you know, to me, it's uh, not something I ever use. I tend to just use either VFO. Just go enter. I go, I use VFO. Search, or, or scanning. VFO is VFO, you know, like frequency mode. Scanning is like memory mode. And then you've got search, which you, you preset bands. That you've preset into the device, and I've got that one there. You can go up and down with the up and down keys. So when I'm in VFO, let's just go, let's just say, I'm in VFO mode now and you've got A and B, okay? The way you change from A and B is because A and B, you use the VFO button, A, B. So we'll put A at the top 
and we'll put 145.0000, okay? And then we'll go B, we'll go to B, and then we'll go 430.000, enter. Let's flip them back, pushing the VFO. And we'll choose our mode by just doing auto, by holding down mode. See that, then it will scan any mode that you select. We'll go to B as well. If you hold it down, it should go to auto. But if it doesn't, just turn it and go enter. A, B, mode, yeah, it's already in there. Enter. Keep A at the top there. So now if you want to scan, you just hold down VFO and it just starts to scan Hold it down properly and it will start to scan between those two bands and you can change direction it was going down then let's go up just by turning this forward and then it'll go up and look you're at 145 now and you can stop it just by pressing the VFO you can actually start and stop using the arrow so if we hold down the up arrow It starts to scan and again we can change direction. So that's just your basic VFO scan. And then if you just press it to stop, go to scan, now you're going to search your memories. The way you select memories, they're in, you've got banks and channels here. So you've got 00, zero is your bank number, the 01 is channel 1, okay? We could go up one channel, look, we're just going up one channel at a time, but we're still in bank zero, 00. But if we type in here, 0108, we're now in bank 501. So if we want to scan a memory, so we're in scan mode here, let's call it memory mode, 0502. Let's go to 0000. Let's just start at the beginning, it's hubnet there. One of my favourite memory channels. Right, turn it down. Now let's go hold down scan. And it's going to scan, but obviously it will sit on that channel for a while. But let's go up one. Oh, another busy channel. That's DMR. See the way it's now scanning. So if you add lots of channels into memory bank 00, zero then you're going to have lots more to scan. So let's say we want to add a channel to our bank so we've got more to scan. Go back to VFO, okay, type something you want to listen to, just to choosing anything at random, enter, so 145500, actually I prefer it if I was in A band, let's go A band there, just press VFO to go to A, 145500, Dot zero zero. I'm pretty sure that if you scan and put it into scan save mode, it saves everything to Z, which you press VFO three times. But let's say we want to listen to that and we go mode. Let's choose Yesu for, for C4FM. Enter. So we've chose something we want to save. How do we save it? We hold down the enter. Let's do that again. Okay, so it's come up with this. It looks like it's rich. It wants to write it into the Z window as well. I'll look at the manual for that. But anyway, look down here at this grade se section here. It actually says 0608. So if gonna, if I press enter, it will save it there. So remember, the first part, the 06 is the banks. I think there's 39 banks, and then 08 is the channel number. Okay. So let's just choose. Let's choose 001. We can select that if we want, or we can go 01, then let's go uh, 15. So it's going to save it in bank 1, channel 15, and now we can name it. So let's just call it S, S00, I'm going to call it. So you just go, look like an old-fashioned phone, look for the S. Uh, then you, you can do your numbers as well. Okay, turn the, v, the, the knob forward change it we're going to call it sue okay and then we're going to go enter i'm going to ignore protect and it's going to write it so now if we go to scan let's 
taking us back to memory mode, and they should use the word memory as well, really, shouldn't they? It's confusing. We're in we're in zero one, and we're looking at channel one. So we should be able to just scroll to fifteen, and it has skipped the blank channels. Look, fifteen, and there it is there channel two. <laughs> So anyway, I think that's enough for this video, but you know, it's it, this video is about how to link banks. You saw that. Uh, you literally just go F7, scroll to the one you want, press the down arrow, then turn. Let's add another one. 14, yeah, we'll have that one. Press pass. If we want to get rid of 16, we'll press pass and it's gone. It's not linked now in our bank linking. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And we'll just um, hit enter to save. It's always saving to a memory card, which is here. See that? And the good thing about this is it will keep working without a memory card. It might affect things that you're trying to save. Uh, but it does AOR DV10, AOR DV1. You know, every scanner I've ever used is super complicated. And if you don't use it every day, you forget quick. But the nice thing is there's plenty of manuals and uh, there is actually some good software for this device. I've got the Bootel software, but there's a few options and there's some free options as well. Uh, so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'll just quickly show you this device from a distance, um, just so you can see what it looks like. It's quite a long, flat device. It's an unusual device, but that's what it looks like. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.